Well, welcome back to Blizzard, kids. Um, my name's Blitz, and today, um, we're not all about reacting. We're gonna check out the GTR update in Midnight Racing Tokyo. So this is the R31 GTSR Skyline. We can now put, um, some body kits on this bad boy. Um, we can also do some body kits on the R33, which is one of the most overpowered cars in the game. The R34, the R32. I don't have the money to check out all of these, but I kind of want to see this, because this is like, this is what every pro I see on YouTube use, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to buy it, because I want to see what body kits on this thing look like. I bet they're going to look awesome, so let's spawn it in here. Now, I'm going to warn you, um, I am very good at, I'm pretty good at the game, so most of the driving in here kind of will be somewhat hard for new, Minute Racing Tokyo is supposed to be a simulate, a simulator, so please remember that before you get into the game in rage because you can't drive. In fact, the drifting is very complicated when it comes to changing the different drivetrains, but Let's test this out here. So, an American, 62 miles an hour is 100 miles an hour. No, 62 miles an hour is 100 kilometers an hour. So let's do this here and go. It's pretty slow off the line, I would say, but definitely has better acceleration in the higher RPM range. So I definitely think that you want to clutch it a little bit to gain some revolutions, but this thing isn't an uphill car. This is more like a downhill car. I'm used to the R32, by the way, so. Okay, let's see. Let's put some bot. Did the thing lie to Wait, no. I don't. Yes, finally. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 400. The 400 one. There's actually a 400. Let's take that out. Let's see what this one is. Oh my goodness. I have so many. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Holy, that's a big spoiler. Um, Holy, there is a smooth trunk. Oh, no. That just looks like a two-door R32. I want the, I kind of want the, um, the 400 one. It was the white sticker one. Okay. Bumper. I kind of want to keep it kind of similar, so. Is there like a 400 in here? Oh, I, uh, I've, I'll do a video on the GTR, like, it's history and everything, if, if you guys want to see that, please let me know, because I will do it, I love cars, um, performance, L a little weird for my liking, what about this, no, I feel like, this is, oh, Nismo, <laughs> no, Drift front. No. Okay. I actually like that front bumper. Hood. Hood options. This is going to be interesting. I kind of want the speed hood. Oh yeah, that's a speed hood, alright. Okay. Diffuser bumper. This looks like something good. Okay. Oh, I can get different things now. Yes! Rims. I like rims. Let's get some sp sporty rims here. So maybe... I like this. The Patriot Racing rims here. Um... I like the, let's see, red body, 
400, yeah, we want the 400 one. Oh, that looks sick, actually. Um, okay, let's go ahead and purchase this. Yeah, this looks kind of cool, actually. Um, and now I'm at the bottom of the list from 4 million yen. I have just spent a lot of money on body kits, so please subscribe if you want more of this type of content. I seriously bought two different bumpers. I wanted the speed one, yeah. Um, I guess I can switch if I want. Um, the 400 decal. Um, we didn't get anything for that. We got that. We got that. Okay. Now we're gonna make sure that this is all gonna become yellow with the rest of the car here. That actually looks sick. This is something I would drive to a track day or to like a really expensive car meet or like take a really speedy tow gate. Let's try this thing. It's nighttime credited, so this probably won't be the. Now, I can drift all wheel drives, but this one has traction control because it's a 1995 one. 400. Um, the 400 Nismo. In case you don't know, I'll give you a brief history on the 400 Nismo. That was supposed to celebrate the R33's participants at. No, not participants. Um, this thing has an understeer a little bit. Um, but um, it's participants. It was at Le Mans, at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. And in case you don't know what Le Mans is, oh, this thing understeers into walls. Um, Le Mans is a track. Um, Le Mans is a track that is in um. France, I think, if I remember correctly, um, in France, um, but they race 24 hours there, and whoever's done the most laps wins, basically, is how it works. Okay, so, I def, look back to the car, but I feel a lot of understeer, like, I might, that might be because I'm playing on keyboard, like, I could probably play on a controller if I really needed to, but let's try drifting this thing. Okay, this thing slides a little bit better than it does. So let's try that again here. Shift down. Okay, so she does drift. That isn't a bad thing, but she drifts kind of really smoothly, and she's really slow. So I would not recommend it unless you're in, like, a really slow section. I think this thing is better when you get to high speeds. I think this thing is, like, probably more meant for you at high speeds. That's why it doesn't handle. Let me try getting up to high speed here and try handling the car. Yeah, it handles much better at higher speed. I think this car was just designed a little more for higher speeds since this is technically a race car. Um, I like the body kits. Body kits are fun. Oh, we just drifted that. <laughs> okay. She, now we're at the higher speed section. Okay, we have crashed too. Okay, drift like a professional. Next video will be a reaction video, so stay tuned for that. Um, um, well, we got 440 views on the video after a couple days of being posted it, so thank you to you guys if you are the same people um, from that video watching this. And also, please... Um, yeah, but please go check out that video if you haven't already, but this is a great car, I feel like. I'm just not used to it. Yeah, she's really good once you get used to her handling. You got a weight shifter into the corner. Once you've learned how to weight shift her, she slides or she grips, depending on what, how much weight shift you want to do, but I won't get too technical about this. But, hey, hey, 
I have a little something to say. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Um, it really does help a lot. So go subscribe if you can. Um, if you're watching, um, these videos are on YouTube Kids. Um, I try to make them as kid appropriate as possible. So please just know that if you are an adult watching this and you have children or something, but I'm not trying to advertise to children or anything, but this is supposed to be a kids channel and I if you want me to get technical, um please comment cuz I will leave this video for commenting, but thank you for watching. See you again next time.